Hey guys, I'm Panko and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make an easy breakfast recipe. It is a recipe of dahlia or broken wheat kernels. It is similar to couscous, but it's it's not made like couscous. In couscous, we need to steam it. In dahlia, we don't need to steam it. We need to cook it directly. So for that, in a pan, add one and a half tablespoon of oil. To that, for tempering, I have given about a teaspoon of jeera seeds and a few garam masala. In that, I have cinnamon, cloves, cardamom. Let the garam masala and the jeera sizzle in oil and release the flavor for one minute. When the spices start to sizzle, at that point, first add the chilies. Here I have chopped about three to four chili, green chilies. After that, add about one and a half medium-sized onions. If you are using a large onion, use one onion. Although everything depends upon the quantity of dahlia that you are using. And finally, one to two medium potatoes. If you are using again, if you are using a large potato, use one potato. Everything is proportioned to about one and a half cups of dahlia. So keep that in mind. Add some salt. The salt will help to take out the moisture from the potatoes and the onions and help to cook proper uh, fast and quickly. Toss the vegetables in the pan for about two to three minutes then add about around three tablespoon of yellow mung beans split mung beans which is also known as mug dal in bengali This is one cup of dahlia and later I also added about two to three tablespoon more so equal to everything equals to about one and a half cups of dahlia add the beans mung bung beans and the dahlia in the oil and then lightly fry it for about four to five minutes You want the oil mixture to coat every grain so that it doesn't stick after you cook it otherwise it will become mushy. Uh, I forgot and hing in the first stage while I was adding the chilies so you can add the hing right now and season it with a little bit of salt uh, sorry sugar about one teaspoon one and a half teaspoon then fine then finally add about a cup of frozen mixed vegetables i already had frozen vegetables in hand so i'm adding that but if you did, if you don't have you can add the capsicum carrots and beans about one cup mix it toss it well All my vegetables were pre-cooked so I'm not cooking that further but if you're adding fresh vegetables add that before adding the dal and the dahlia. Mix everything well for about 2-3 to three minutes. Then add about 2.5 cups of water. For one and a half, one and a half cup of dahlia, I'm using two and a half cup. Cover and let it cook for five to ten minutes on low to medium heat.
after 5 to 10 minutes take out the lead and your dahlia is almost ready right now so you can using a spoon mix the dahlia and you will notice that the grains are not sticking together they are separate your dish is almost ready now you can serve it with fresh chopped coriander and a little bit of ghee I didn't have coriander so I didn't use that anyways I hope you like today's video if you enjoy give it a like and subscribe to my channel I will catch you guys next time bye